Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Nick Page. And I'm Robin Basselin. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand no matter where in the world they live. Many years ago, a man lived in the forests of England. He always carried his bow and arrows. He hunted deer and other animals. He had great skill with his weapons. He was poor, but many people respected him. The most beautiful woman in the kingdom loved him. He was a hero. But why? This man is a thief. He steals money from rich people. Then he gives the money to poor people. This is the story of Robin Hood. Robin Hood's story is famous. People like it because the story is about justice. And they have been telling versions of the story for centuries. But is the story true? Today's Spotlight is on the story of Robin Hood. Many people around the world think they know the story of Robin Hood. A lot of people have seen the films of the story. But these are only the most recent versions. The Robin Hood story has changed a lot over the centuries. The true story of Robin Hood is much older and is very different. Stories about Robin Hood first appeared in the 13th century. The name often appears in court records from that time. The authorities tried many men named Robin Hood for different crimes. People do not know a lot about these men, but they do know that these men were criminals. Experts have investigated many of these men to find out if any of them were Robin Hood. In 1440, a writer made a note about a man named Robert Hood. Some experts think that this man may be the real Robin Hood. The writer tells of Robert Hood and his friend Little John. They lived in Sherwood Forest in Nottinghamshire, England. A criminal named Roger Godbert was using the name Robert Hood. This false name hid his identity. Godbert was not a good man. He was a murderer. How then did the stories make him into a hero? Godbird was an outlaw. The authorities had forced him out of the kingdom. Historical records say that Godbird was an outlaw because he fought against the King of England, King Henry III. During that time, rebels were fighting to control the government. They did not want a king. Instead, they wanted to rule. 
They believed that King Henry the Third was not just. He was too powerful. Godbert was one of those rebels. He fought against the king in a great bloody battle. This made many people like him. They believed his fight against the king was good, and this is why some experts think Godbird was Robin Hood. However, the truth is unclear. The true Robin Hood may be someone else, and some experts do not think that there is. A real Robin Hood. In the fifteenth century, ballads began to tell the story of Robin Hood. Ballads are stories set to music. Most people. Could not read in those times, so ballads were a popular way to hear stories. They were easy to remember, and easy to listen to. People would sing stories of great heroes, and frightening battles. More and more people heard about Robin Hood because of these ballads. Many people told the story of Robin Hood, but they all told the story in ways that were a little bit different. As a result, the story of Robin Hood began to change. It became difficult to know the true story. There was no way to know if he was even a real man. In the early ballads, Robin Hood is a great figure, always fighting for the poor. He fights against the sheriff of Nottingham. The sheriff was like the police, a man who governed the area. But in these ballads, Robin Hood is a farmer. Not a soldier, like Godbert, and he does not steal from the rich. These ballads about Robin Hood became a part of the culture in England. Every May, there is a holiday. Called May Day. May Day celebrates the season of spring, and in the 15th century, it was very popular to celebrate Robin Hood on May Day. People wore green clothes to look like Robin Hood. They carried bows and arrows. They sang the ballads about him. They performed plays telling the story of Robin Hood. These May Day celebrations changed the stories. The stories became more like the stories we know now. For example, the plays added the character of Maid Marian. Maid Marian. Was a beautiful, wealthy woman. Writers added her to the plays to give Robin Hood a woman to love. These plays also changed when Robin Hood lived. Originally, the stories were in the time of King Henry the Third. But the plays told the story in the time of King Richard. King Richard 
lived almost 100 years before King Henry. King Richard was called the Lionheart because he led many great battles. King Richard was a popular king, but he was frequently far away from England fighting battles. Robin Hood in these plays liked the king. He fought for the king while the king was away. These May Day celebrations created a new and different Robin Hood. He is not the Robin Hood of the early ballads. Instead of being a farmer, he is a loyal friend of the king. Instead of being alone, he now has made Marion. And instead of fighting against the king, he fights for the king while the king is gone. This is the Robin Hood many people know now. But there is one part that did not change. Robin Hood is still a hero because he fights for the poor. He gets them the money that they need. He steals from rich people. Then he gives money to poor people. Robin Hood has become a symbol of justice for many people. He fights for justice for the poor. He wants all people to live well. And he wants to see equality between the poor and the rich. Many people think this is good. But most people also think stealing is wrong. Do you think people can do wrong and still be good? Do you think Robin Hood can steal and still be a hero? You can email us your thoughts at radio at radioenglish.net or you can leave a comment on the script page of the program on our website. The writer and producer of this program was Diana Anderson. The voices you heard were from the United States and the United Kingdom. You can listen to this program again and read it on the Internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called Robin Hood, an Old Hero. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.